Cleveland State last year moving on to the NCAA tournament without last year's Horizon League Player of the Year. And Destiny Leo, she is out with a season-ending injury and we're underway here in the Iowa Capitol. Caitlin Clark quickly getting a look and knocking down the first three she sees. This is a team coming in with a whole lot of confidence. Nine straight wins. Clark finds herself open and her second three tonight. Purdue sees her chance and is stopped. Clark perfectly in rhythm. She's got it. Purdue jets on full speed, leaves it for Villalobos, trying to find her stroke. Iowa's led by as many as 11. Stolke, good position, backing down her defender. She's got the power and the finesse. My goodness, if she catches it with her feet set, that ball's going in every time. That's a player who led all of Division II last year, 110 threes on the season. Davis, beautiful touch on that floater. Purdue, a long three that just grazes rim. Clark in transition, yes! <laughs> she was incredulous at the call. That's an elite word, Sloan Martin. Thank you for the praise. It's Molly Davis for three, rattles it in. Cleveland State was charged up in the first half, bringing intensity here as Clark working her way in the post, nestles in and finishes. Looking about 17 games this season. Marshall, no good from three. Stolke on the glass again, and the finish by Mark. Hannah Stolke. From Tampa Bay with Nebraska ah, in the Volleyball National Championship game. Our Emily Eamon down there covering it, killing it. Beautiful basketball. That is Iowa. It's a nice finish on the fadeaway. Clark, quick trigger. Another three for Caitlin Clark. 21 points in her hometown. Maples cannot silence this crowd. Leaking out ahead is Morton and found by Clark. It is all Hawkeyes here in the third. They enter today winning games by 25 points a game. They have led for about 93% of total minutes. And just racking that up here against the Vikings is Purdue. Cleveland State has not been able to finish inside. Clark, transition three, yes! Yeah, how special for Clark too. Her parents go to almost every single game. She's only two hours away in Iowa City at college. It's a real homecoming game for her though. Three. Point play. Maples the step back. Oh, Incredibly oh. difficult shot. You have to credit Clark in the way she's handled all of this. As you see the bucket going there. But it's great to see that she mixes in that philanthropy with her outside efforts. Purdue. Drains the three. She has been the go-to player. 23 points she's poured in for Cleveland State, which has only had four players score this entire game. It's crazy. Four different players. And all four have double figures. A Purdue's type of player. Oh, my goodness. Clark adds another three. That's seven. And she's over 30. Marshall going to slow it down for this Hawkeye offense that has been rolling all night long. 87 points, and Clark will add more. Another Hawkeye steal, and Clark whipping it to Martin, and one. Then Iowa was able to blow this game open because they created second chance opportunities and use our physicality. There she is again, 38 points for Caitlin Clark in Des Moines. The shot goes as time expires, but never in doubt it is Iowa. 104-75 is the Hawkeye victory.